Hey, what's going on ladies and gentlemen? Uh, my name is Insane SVK, and in today's video I will show you how to get more frames per second in Arma 3. Uh, this game is very demanding, but I am still running a very, very solid frames per second. Uh, because, you know, obviously you're in the computer and you can change your settings to make the game look uh, better or worse, depending on your hardware. Um, I'm gonna post my uh, computer specs in the video description so you guys can compare and sort of uh, think. Uh, actually, you can run this on a laptop, no problem, but you would just have to lower your settings a little bit. And um, yeah, so look, let's look at the settings. I'm just gonna show you the most important settings that will just completely affect your overall performance of the game. So, uh, click options, basic. Uh, by the way, we are in Arma 3 editor, just spawned in uh, by myself, no other AI objects in the game. So this is the best, probably the best place to test your overall performance. You have shadows, buildings, you have your weapon and you have all of the hills in the in the for in the background you can actually check the c which is like to the right uh, of my mouse cursor you just turn like 90 degrees and you're you're at the c okay so basic overall uh this is a visibility overall visibility if you if you just hop on like if i hop on 10 or 12,000, this is i think 12,000 meters my frames go down by 40 or 45 if I just slide on this up a little bit, as you can see the fog is sort of uh, going, so you can't see the place. This doesn't really matter. You you can shoot your gun like more than a thousand meters, so it doesn't really matter. I usually run it around this number. And uh, object visibility, it actually depends on your overall visibility, so it doesn't really matter if you have this on super high settings because it's usually better just to just drop it a little bit so it's a so overlap so it overlaps a little bit from the overall and shadow that's basically how realistic the shadows are going to be at distance i run the setting at 100 although it might be better to run it at a smaller number so if you're struggling with your frames be sure to play with these uh settings first my other tip is never go for uh, the default setting in Arma. These games are extremely, extremely uh, demanding on your hardware, so you have to, you literally have to select these options manually and pick them by hand. Uh, okay, let's skip to rendering. In rendering, basically this is your rendering resolution, so this is your resolution. I don't know how, why they make it so complicated. Uh, make sure you turn, turn VSync off. There is no screen tearing. Literally, this game is very, very, uh, very well done with the screen tearing. There is literally none. I run eight, uh, eight X anti-aliasing, uh, post-processing. This is just standard stuff. Uh, you can change it. Basically, this is uh, like a pretty high uh, graphical setting, so the game looks amazing. Uh, literally, these settings, they depend a little bit on your graphics card, but uh, depends whether or not you're running a high-end or a mid-end, whatever. Uh, Post-process is literally means just depth of field, which is, you guys probably know what depth of field is, so it's literally the blur uh, when you're turning. If you turn it off, you, you can see this. I don't know if you can see this in the video, but there's a blur. There's so much blur. It looks, it looks so realistic, though. Pretty awesome. Uh, so yeah, that's basically it and in the last tab just make sure you run shadow quality on high or Low or disabled low is actually pretty good as, as you can see low shadows are They look pretty good, but they are sharp and they are calculated by the game and high actually looks a little bit more polished and graphically more stable but high looks so similar, or very high looks so similar to Ultra in this game. So you guys just make sure. Uh, this is, by the way, this is a shadow. As you can see, 100 meters, the shadows are rendering right now. If I back off a little bit, there's, they stop rendering. Uh, it's actually pretty good looking, I think, so I wouldn't change it a little bit. But what I was saying, Ultra looks very, very close too high or very high in this game so if you guys are having trouble running this at ultra just make sure you just just turn it to whatever just uh, tune your settings down just make sure 
you to tune down the visibility and the object uh, detail visibility in the first tab a little bit more downish you can even turn it down to like 600 or a smaller number but just keep in mind that will affect your overall gameplay experience so anyways this was insane SVK. i hope you guys learned something about arma if you want more tutorials i can put a lot of in-depth stuff so just thank you very much for watching and i will see you in a next one bye